Yes, uh, so we've already seen the concentration methods, that is your leaching and your surplex process. Now, what do we do once it is done? We are going to take this aluminum oxide which is formed, right? Al2O3 which is formed, and we uh, we send it for further extraction. From extraction, then we send it for smelting. From smelting, we are going to send it for refining, right? So, now what happens in extraction? Basically, extraction process are of two types. What are the two types? <coughs> when I speak about red bauxite, right bauxite formula is your al2o3 isn't it al2o3 dot 2h2o now there are of two types red bauxite and white bauxite right so red bauxite and white bauxite if i have to extract it now red bauxite what is the difference red bauxite contains your uh, al2o3 along with that you have iron as impurity this is your iron oxide as impurity in red bauxite and here for white bauxite again al2o3 and sio2 silica is an impurity so you have to remove these two right you have to extract this from the removing impurities now for purifying or extracting uh, it can also say purifying for extracting red bauxite we are going to use a process called bayer's process for uh, white bauxite for purification of white bauxite which i'm uh, we are going to use a process called surplex process so which i have already done surplex is already done please check the earlier video yes so let us learn what is bayer's process now i said i have to separate now let us start with the bayer's process and see what what steps are involved in that now extraction or i can also write purification this is better extraction or purification of aluminium or L of aluminium right so in Bayer's process first what do we do we are going to take that particular bauxite Al2O3 which is obtained from your uh, leaching or smelting so instead of Al2O3 shall I write bauxite better so I am going to write bauxite so this bauxite is first sent for crushing or milling once it is sent for crushing and milling, what happens? This whole thing is sent into a vessel called pressure vessel. This whole process occurs in a pressure vessel. Right. Now, to this pressure vessel, you are going to induce or fuse it with sodium hydroxide. Yes. Now, to this sodium hydroxide, when you are fusing it, what? So, now what we do from the pressure vessel, we are going to further send it or when this is fused together with bauxite, you get a complex like this. What is a complex? Sodium, aluminium, hydroxide. This is your complex. Now, during this process, what happens? Whatever red mud is there, your red mud, right? That gets filtered off. So, red mud gets filtered. So, this particular thing is done. Now, we, they're going to take this complex and they're going to further and allow it to undergo a process called crystallization. Right. During crystallization, what happens? You're infusing water to this right so that complex breaks up or it divides into two uh, particles because your na is out and your aluminium hydroxide forms a separate complex so during crystallization al oh taken threads now so this aluminium hydroxide what do we do we are going to further cool this okay right you can here also you can cool it then only cooling right when you cool it what happens it will get crystals that is what is understood so we are going to after crystallization which is infused with water this aluminium hydroxide further we are going to send it to a rotary kiln okay i'll write this here we are going to send it further to a kiln or means which rotates continuously that is called rotary kiln where you're heating it when you are heating it, aluminium hydroxide, it breaks up, we very well know what is the reaction, aluminium hydroxide, when you are heating it, it will break up into two important things, what, Al2O3 dot XH2O, which is incorporated, here how many do we have, you have three, so you can address this. so this aluminium oxide, which is formed, is this, Al2O3. This Al2O3 is further sent for smelting, which we do or the process which is used or the cell which we use for smelting is Hell-Harold process. That's it. I'll be doing this in the next video. So, simple. So, this is your Bayer's process. Let us label this as Bayer's process. So, be as process for purification of aluminum.